Hey guys, Mars Lincoln here, bringing another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And so today we're going to be taking a look at our boys here with their EZA Physical LR Golden Freezer and Android 17. Um, these guys are the absolute epitome of what an EZA should be, right? These guys, when they came out, were never really considered to be very good, even on release. Um, so they've just been left sat. Like I pulled them from the sixth anniversary part two banner and they've just been kind of sat in my box gathering dust. I probably did a showcase video for them and then have never used them again for anything. Um, however, their EZA has now made them very, very good and are probably like an auto include on a Universe Survival Saga or Reps of Universe 17 now. So obviously we have the Rainbow Full Level 10 Links. They do have the Universe of Other Saga or Join Forces as the leader skill. 4 key 160. Obviously, Yellow Coin LR is their leader skill, is never their strong suit, but still can be useful for some stuff. Their 12 key super massively raises attack for one turn and does colossal damage. Massively raises 100%. So, big buffs with each additional super. And then their 18 key is greatly raises attack and defense for one turn. Mega colossal damage and greatly lowers attack and defense. So, that can be very useful. Their passive, uh, attack and defense 177, key 7 and damage reduction of 50% for one turn from the entry turn. So on their first turn, 7 extra key, 50% damage reduction. They launch two additional attacks guaranteed, each of which has a 50% chance to become a super attack. They launch an additional super attack guaranteed and have a 70% chance to crit if HP is 77% or less. And then they get key 1 up to 7, and attack and defense 11% up to 77, so 7 attacks, uh, with each attack performed. And then they get an additional key 1 up to 5, and attack and defense 20% up to 100, so 5 stacks, with each super attack performed. So if they get a super attack, they're getting that stack and the previous stack. And then if it's just a normal, they just get the previous one. So they can build up very, very quickly, because remember, they are guaranteed attacking 3 times every turn. Guaranteed there will be a super and then two normals. It could be three supers or it could be two supers and a normal. Then you have the hidden potential to factor into that as well. And if you're at 77% or less HP, they get a guaranteed additional super from that also. And then the thing that makes them really crazy is chance of performing a crit 17% and damage reduction 17% within the same turn with each attack performed. So remember, they always attack three times in a turn, regardless of anything else. The bare minimum, they attack three times, which means they get 51% crit chance on that third attack, but they then also have 51% damage reduction. So that means on turn one, where they're getting 50% damage reduction for the first turn, after they've done their three attacks, they have over 100% damage reduction. So on their first turn, they can literally only ever take double digit damage which is kind of crazy. So we're running them on the Reps of Universe 17 with the Tech UI. Uh, they, their 200% leads are like Tech UI, the Int, Tournament of Power, Androids, and I think there is one other one actually, and I can't remember which one it is. Um, but obviously this new like Reps of Universe 17 with Tech UI is definitely crazy. Shocking Speed, Fist Battle, Tournament of Power, Legendary Power, 200k defense start of turn. Now bear in mind their super attack effect gives them a 50% raise, but just by doing the first super attack, they're getting a 31% raise as well. So it'll be interesting to see how many attacks they actually get to do here in this first turn. And then we'll see what their start of turn defense is the next time around. So AGL UI Goku, of course, has a 100% chance to dodge on turn one. We are doing the movie battles event, uh, stage four versus Beast Gohan. So we'll see how this goes. I did bring Sensu Beans because the orange Piccolo phase has that annoying rotation locking thing. But yeah, we'll see how we get on. Now, 17 and Frieza. Uh, bear in mind, after the first turn, they obviously don't get that 50% damage reduction. But three attacks at bare minimum, 51%. Then if they're doing the hidden potential attack, that puts them up to 68%. And then, of course, if you are at 77% or less HP, you get a guaranteed additional super. So then that's putting them up to, what, 85% damage reduction or something? So even after the first turn, if they're getting all their supers, the amount of uh, damage reduction they get is certainly pretty crazy. So first additional was only a normal. Second additional was a super. So 5.8. Remember, each 12 key super is massively raising their attack. And then, can we get the hidden potential as well? We do not. So we did two supers and one normal. So we got two of the buffs from the super attack, so 40%, and then three buffs from just attacking. So that's, what, 33%. So already a pretty significant increase, as well as extra key. Because remember, they get seven extra key on turn one, 
But from the buffs that they've just got from doing those attacks, they're going to get, what, five extra key? Because it's one for each normal attack and one for each super as well. So five extra key uh, for when they come around on the next turn. So absolutely destroying Gohan there in turn one. Um, who do I want to get floated off? I guess the androids do have some multi-turn support. So I probably want to float off MVP-17. He shares a few links with them. And then obviously we get the... Um, get the support from him as well he gives defensive support so just go ahead and do that so tech ui friend tech ui i didn't want the tech ui to go too crazy in this event so i brought a 69 percent friend mine's only 55 percent there are a few rainbow ones on the friends list both friends and guests but obviously we wanted the uh freezer and 17 to get a chance to shine now, they are a unit that, when you think about some of these big LRs on the team, you know, Blue Evolution Vegeta, AGO UI Goku, and then, of course, if you are running double tech UI Gokus, the tech UI Goku leads themselves. Um, the Golden Freezer and 17 might end up being just a floating unit on the team, but, I mean, they're a unit that's going to be floating in slot 3, dropping these big attack stats, and then after they've supered, their defense plus damage reduction is going to be more than enough to keep them alive in slot 3. Because that's always the worst thing, is when you're bringing like a support or a floating unit on a team, and then the super attack for the turn ends up being in slot 3, and then that unit takes loads of damage or just dies, like straight up, even from full health. Whereas that's not really ever going to happen for Freezer and 17. I mean, I guess like, events that can hit really hard straight away from turn 1, if they eat a super immediately in slot 1, I guess. But you can see here, we're starting out now at 483k defense. So the first super we get is, again, going to give a 31% buff because of their passive, 50% buff because of the super attack effect, and then they're going to be, on this turn, at a bare minimum, 51% damage reduction. And then they start off with more than enough key that's super easy to get their uh, 24 key here. Now, they do have an active skill that we'll talk about. can be activated once they've performed four super attacks. So they've done two so far. And that gives them 7 key, a 77% multiplicative defensive buff. So I can't wait to see what that number's going to look like. Ideally, I want to use it when they're fully built up. And then they get guaranteed crits for the turn as well. And also, just to show my build, I should have changed it, I guess, because they don't need any crit, right, because of how much crit they build up. So dodge I went for, and then additional. You do want them to be getting those additionals. So I think I would probably, in retrospect, if I want to change it, I don't know if I would use stones at this point to change their hidden potential, but maybe take out some uh, crit. Because they build up 17% crit with each super attack, right? So, or with each attack performed. So as I said, the third attack of the turn that they do, which is guaranteed, already has a 51% chance to crit. And then if they're doing the next super after that from the hidden potential, or because you're at 77% or less HP, then they've already got a 68% chance to crit. So... Probably don't need a lot of crit, if any, in the hidden potential system. If you have given them some orbs that give them additional or dodge and then gives them a little bit of crit on top, then obviously that's just a little bit extra, which is nice. But I don't really think you'd need to use the actual hidden potential nodes to give them crit. So 11.4 for their first super attack of the turn here. So I guess, of course, like the first super only has a 17% chance to crit, but additional normal. Okay, I only got two additional normals. Hidden potential... Okay, hidden potentials, that's three. So they've done, what, five normals now total? Um, no, we did three on this turn and one on the previous turn because we did two supers. And then they eat a super from Goku. Uh, no, what am I talking about? Goku supering Piccolo. Um, but they did four attacks. So on that turn, as we said, they would have had 68% damage reduction. Um, whilst also each one of those attacks does put up their defense a little bit. Because remember, when it comes to the super attack effect, only the 18 key super gives them defense. But while they're still building up their passive, they're getting extra defense with all of the attacks that they're doing, which is obviously very, very good. So, do I want to put you in slot 1 or do I want to put Blue Evolution Vegeta there? I mean, Blue Evolution Vegeta should eat it regardless, right? He's got 600k and then 50% damage reduction. Doesn't have guard on this turn, though. Maybe I should just risk it for UI. I do want to get the um, seven orbs for the androids if possible, but I don't think I can. Uh, is that going to drop those in orbs down the way I want it to? It is, but still not enough. All right, well, that's fair enough. We'll just grab those. Um, hopefully UI Goku just dodges the super here. Yeah, nice. That's what we'd like to see. 
Double dodging from the friend UI Goku. Uh, 10 million attacks that bring him on. He's got one dupe. Um, Take UI Goku is still. I haven't had a huge amount of chance to use him because like we pulled him, did the initial showcase, and then I've been doing a bunch of other stuff. I did all the team building guys yesterday. It was my day off, so I didn't do much Dokon stuff. Um, but yeah, the, the few times I've still managed to use Tech UI, um, it's still very, very impressive. Like Mine's only 55% and he's still incredibly good. And bear in mind, we're going to be able to use his domain, which doesn't give the full buff to Frieza and 17 because they are not um, Realm of Gods character. But, because it is Universal, is it Universal Survival Saga? I mean, if it was reps, it doesn't matter because they're on reps of Universe 7, of course, anyway. But, yeah, Vegeta dropping the supers here. I mean, this team, this isn't even the best version of this team. Like, if I, if you said to like me right now, like, what's the best build for reps of Universe 7? I probably would not be running physical MVP 17, even though he is good. And then the Int T.O.P. Androids, you could put them on the team because the support is obviously really nice. Having the Scout up with the Goku on rotation is really useful as well. But like, there's the Int L.R. Team Universe 7, who of course we'll be showcasing next as well. Um, like, the full reps team could just be all L.R.s. And then of course there's Physical Blue Kai Ken Goku and Vegeta that we haven't even put on the team. Um, but yeah, these guys pick up, is it Solid Support mostly is the main one that they're getting from... Oh, not Twin Terrors. Solid support is the main one they're picking up from 17 that they're not getting from anybody else, which is 15% extra attack. So now we're at start of turn defense 800k. Typical, they only did one super last turn, so we still have to go through this turn in order to be able to have their um, active skill available. But I suppose after this turn, they've done, what, two supers total? So we still need them to super three times for their passive to be fully maxed out. So I guess we'll see how that goes here but we'll grab those for you and we'll just grab those for you and then let's see how we do so he's healing in slot one which means we don't have to worry about goku getting hit before he super attacks so now my goku gets his supers off here remember of course tech ui goku the first hit of the turn that he has to take he has 50 percent damage reduction and then gets guard for any follow-up hits that he has to take so these guys now at 16.6 so 16.6 million attack stat Let's see, how many attacks can we get in this turn? We haven't taken enough damage at any point to start on the lower HP. But there's the super attack straight away. So, second super, 12 million. Um, can we get one more? Fully build up that part of their passive. Yes, let's go. It jumps up from 12 to 15.1. So, yeah, their passive is now fully maxed out. Um, and we get a hidden potential super as well. 17 mil now. <laughs> So 12 into 15 into 17. Um, and they've done four attacks, so they have 68% damage reduction. Plus oh, well over a million defense. So how much this should do... Is this going to do double-digit damage? Yeah, it is. <laughs> so yeah, Freezer at 17. Uh, pretty good. <laughs> okay, so we're going to see their start of turn defense on the next turn <clears throat> will be... They're fully maxed out passive start of turn defense. Um, well, with 17 taking 200k. Okay. Um, we've got a revival active this turn now, so it's not like we need to worry about anything. Um, let me just double check what your domain is. Is, is it Universe Survival Saga? Because the problem is, no, it is super class. That's what I was thinking in the back of my mind is if it is super class enemies and allies, then it means that Golden Freezer and 17 don't actually get a buff at all from the Tech Goku's domain, because unfortunately, they are a um, physical unit. So, I guess what we can do here, to show off just how good these guys are, is I'm gonna use UI Goku's active skill anyway, get his domain here, because now, our domain is buffing the enemy, and it won't be buffing Freezer and 17. But, we're gonna see just how ridiculously good Freezer and 17 still are, that even though the enemy is being buffed by the domain and they're not, they're still going to be really good. I should have tried to not pick up any HP, uh, any same type orbs. I don't know if we were at 77% or less, but we might have been able to get the extra super attack for uh, Freezer and 17. But yeah, UI Goku should just finish off Piccolo here by himself because he's going to get his attack off here. And then his next counter should do a pretty crazy amount of damage. And then, of course, if he doesn't finish him off, AGL UI Goku with the domain buff will go ham. But 
Watching UI just manhandling giant form orange piccolo is kind of funny. But yeah, that counter, the counter animation is just so cool. I love it. The fact that he counters everything as well, any kinds of attacks, like, it's just so crazy. But yeah, now we're at Beast. Beast is going to be getting buffed by the domain. We've got type disadvantage. I mean, we've pretty much stacked the deck as much as possible in a bad situation for <laughs> Free Zone 17. Um, so, start of turn, 645k. Um... So let's go ahead and use their active skill here. I can't even remember what their active skill animation is. I know it isn't an attack because it's it doesn't have like a damage modifier thing or anything. But I honestly didn't expect you to put that much effort into slowing him down. If I fail, I knew you'd be here to do the rest. Hmm. I've earned the trust <laughs> of a robot. How did I get so lucky? How did he get so lucky? I mean, we could actually die on this rotation because the uh, the the androids eating a super from Beast Gohan is probably not ideal. But there you go. So post active skill, 1.14 million defense. Now their passive is fully built up, so they're not going to get any extra buffs from attacking outside of that initial 50% raise from their 18 key super, which I believe is not from all of these buffs as well. Like it's not 50% of 1.1 million. I'm fairly sure. I might be wrong. I always forget about the which way round these active skill buffs actually activate, but um, UI Goku, of course, could just instantly get clapped by Beast if he doesn't dodge. There's also that potential, but <laughs> we'll see how this plays out. Uh, I can't get a lot of orbs for the T.O.P. androids either here, which is kind of annoying. So we might actually just completely sell on this turn. I only brought Senzu beans in case we got screwed over by the uh, orange piccolo locking, and... Um, then didn't even need to use them, otherwise I could have put like an item active here, but I mean Freezer and 17, like I don't know how much damage exactly Beast Gohan's normals do but bear in mind that at the very worst on this turn these guys have the, oh my god he didn't dodge the super, are you serious? They have the 1.1 million defense, 50% extra from their super and then 51% damage reduction at the bare minimum so, of course, UI Goku got us killed. The good old 70% to the chance to dodge really just means 30% chance to die. But there you go. I mean, to be fair, we saw them fully built up. They were only in a slot where they were going to take normals. They're going to be taking double-digit damage because they're going to be over, they're well over a million defense, 51% damage reduction. If we got the hidden potential additional super, then we go up to 68% damage reduction. So, it's just absolutely ridiculous. Like These guys are so good. Um, and they were so bad before their EZA. So, glow up of the century. You love to see it. Um, Freezer and 17, fantastic unit. I will be running them on what I consider to be like the strongest build of the reps of Universe 17. So, let me know what you guys think of them and their EZA down below in the comment section. So, that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Masked Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below, and I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.